Hello guys, it's uh, is your life falling apart? Call 1-800-GOPRO-CHICKEN because uh, misery likes company. Man, I am psyched about so much right now. Um, I'm psyched about so much including uh, buying another firearm, buying a better camera for motive vlogging. Hello. Um, I've got a shopping list a mile long, so I'm excited about all this stuff, but there's a problem. I got credit card debt that I'm still paying, trying to pay off, doing, I'm suffering my ass off trying to do the best that I can. Um, and uh, it's from my mountain biking accident uh, a year and a half ago when I fractured my elbow and wrist. I had to live off of my credit cards for a month and a half. Uh, so, if I do really well, I could have it paid off, you know, within five or six months, dude. So what's wrong with me? What's the problem? Do you have this issue? Like, I know, I, you know, I, I'm fully aware of, like, the right thing to do in life. I know, I know what to do. It's just that my brain won't let me do it. It's like, uh, it's like my brain's wired differently than my my uh, s s uh, spirit or my 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 consciousness consciousness we'll say consciousness my consciousness and awareness is not the same as my brain and my brain seems to be pretty doggone hardwired so I'm, it's a constant battle every day you know like I know what to spend my money on I know what to do I know what not to do but that's part of that's the human the part I don't know if that would be considered the human condition but uh we're, we're exploring some roads right right now. I'm not all that familiar. We're near the St. John's River. Uh, so yeah, me and Rick Viper Moto have been going to the shooting range every Monday and enjoying. I have a Ruger SR22 handgun and a uh, 10-22 takedown Ruger rifle, and I really enjoy the. Feels good to use 22 ammo. The ammo is so cheap. You don't spend a lot of money going to the range um, but you know I, I I feel like I need a uh, I, I got my concealed carry I feel like I might need to start carrying that you don't really need anything right you don't need you don't really need anything except rice beans and water at the you know seriously uh, food water shelter I mean you don't technically why would you need shelter you can sleep in the bushes you know but anyway, I mean, that's, it's, uh, there's a saying that, uh, you hang out at a barber shop long enough, you're bound to get a haircut, right? So I surround my, I have great friends. I don't have, I have a lot of friends, but only a couple that I get to see quite regularly. And, um, Rick Viper Moto is kind of a, a gun guy, but not nearly as much as my other buddy, Politics 101, and that's his YouTube channel name. Um... He's, he's big into guns, and years ago, I used to be so, like, scared of them, you know, because there's serious consequences, potentially serious consequences involved. But uh, after going to the range with him and his dad a couple times, taking some taking a class and getting a, a couple, you know, beginner guns myself, you know, you kind of, once you learn about it, the, the, the fear kind of goes away, but there's still that fear... I mean, it's a dangerous thing, but like motorcycling. So, I wonder if motorcycling maybe has created that need, that need for danger, you know? To where if I'm not motorcycling all the time, I need, I need to go shoot a gun to get my little fix of danger or whatever. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it. I know some people don't like firearms. I, I don't particularly care for them either, but I mean, it's like real the reality, you know? I mean, like, we wouldn't we wouldn't be as... I don't know, that might be a horrible statement. We needed guns back years ago to hunt and stuff. We could have hunted with bows and arrows, I guess, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not for violence. I'm not looking to shoot anybody anytime soon. Uh, I just, it is fun going to the range. It's like a game, you know, you shoot your target, try to get a bullseye every time. It's exciting. It's 
something to spend money on. But uh, I've uh, yeah. What, what's what's up with that thing where our brains are, are kind of our own worst enemy? You know, you can only do what you, you your brain will let you do. I mean, you can push through it. Uh, to a certain extent, but my brain seems to be pretty hardwired. Maybe, maybe it's like what they say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but some of the best neuro, uh, neurosurgeons or whatever, you know, brain doctors say that your brain is very plastic even in the old age. You can, it has plasticity, you can rewire it and all that. I probably need an, an ayahuasca trip or something like that to rewire my brain. Anyway, just, uh, that'll be the end of the video. I don't know where I am. Uh, it, if you don't see another video from me, it's because I'm completely lost out, probably in the, out in the middle of the country somewhere, still trying to find my way home. But, uh, hope to see you next time. Peace.